Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another video. So, this trip for today is going to be on the Delta Airbus A220-100, also known as the CS-100 from Denver International Airport to Los Angeles International Airport. So, uh, we picked off at Denver. I flew the 767-300ER from Houston to Denver in Economy Plus. So, I'm currently in Denver's new Concourse B expansion. Uh, this was uh, an expansion adding a few more gates and I'm currently heading over to Concourse A which is gate A28 for my flight up to Los Angeles today. So without further ado, let's get started. Anyways, uh, you just have to take a few escalators down by two levels or you can take an elevator so yeah and then you just take a train from B to A and they run uh, very frequently between concourses so again that makes it more convenient so yeah oh yeah and we recently had a power outage so that's probably the reason why these escalators ain't working so uh, I thought it was just on the B expansion concourse, but I realized it was across the entire airport uh, in sections of the airport, so uh, hopefully the train works because I need to catch that train to concourse A for my flight to LA. So, let's go. Denver International Airport is divided into three concourses, Concourse A, B, and C. As for my connection, I landed into the United Concourse, which is in other words, Concourse B. And I need to head over to A, which serves most other airlines who can fly to Denver, with the exception of Southwest, Spirit, and Alaska. To connect between concourses, you need to take a train, which are two levels down from the main floor. I just made it to Concourse A, and will be taking it over to gate A28. As you can tell, this portion of the airport is bustling, had it been for that power cut we had a while back. I'll be flying flight 2261 to LA today. So as to sum up my connection at the airport, I'm pretty satisfied. Connections are easy, everything's well organized, the new sections of the airport are well made, and lots of good food and shopping areas. I personally enjoyed my time, especially in the outdoor observation deck. Alright, so... Right here is our Delta A220-100 that's going to be taking us to Los Angeles. It's a very new one, it's only a, a year and a half old, and it was delivered in mid-January 2020. So January 15, 2020 was when this aircraft was delivered. So it's a fairly new aircraft as such, and uh, furthermore, our serial number is 50048, and hex code is AL757F. So, and these are powered with the two Pratt & Whitney PW1524Gs, or Pratt & Whitney 1500Gs, just to be short. And uh, uh, we're about to board in a few minutes. It's going to be delayed by a good 25 minutes, give or take, I could say. But uh, our plane is getting cleaned, uh, and the cargo is being loaded, and uh, we're about to board our flight to Los Angeles today. Take 
This aircraft is one of the newer additions to the fleet. Having said that, there's 109 seats and a 3 class layout. You got 1st class up front with 12 seats, Comfort Plus aka Extra Leg Space with 15 seats, and Main Cabin with 82 seats. Both Comfort Plus and Main Cabin are in a 2-3 configuration, and 1st class is in a 2-2 configuration. I'll be sitting in 21A for this flight, which I do recommend for some awesome views out the window. So just the first impression and looks of the airplane, it's extremely spacious across the cabin and is completely spotless. I along with many others appreciate how serious Delta takes cleaning procedures. The seats are also mind blowing on such a small jet, I've personally never experienced anything like this, but we will go into more detail later. For now, here's the safety video and pushback. Please ensure all aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas are clear. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip in case. Life vests are in a compartment beneath or adjacent to your seat. To use, remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Slip the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, and attach it to the buckle in front and adjust securely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab at the bottom of the vest or manually inflate it by blowing into the tube at shoulder level. A water activated light is attached to each vest. For children who weigh less than 35 pounds, place the vest around the infant's waist and secure the strap between the legs. Refer to the safety information card for more information. Additional life vests for in-lap children are located in a marked compartment in the rear of the plane. We'll distribute these vests if necessary. Now before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are at resting position, and your tray table is put away. Please take a moment to review the safety...
Now it is about time that we review the seat back. This economy class seat has 32 inches of pitch along with a spacious 18.6 inches of width. When I first got settled down, I was genuinely blown away. Not only was it spacious given the configuration, it was also extremely comfortable as well. So much to the point that I could sit in this seat longer than the plane's range can take it. You have a nice sized armrest with a recline feature that was of a good amount. Adjustable headrest which was very sturdy and soft. Tray table which is large and can extend towards you. And an in-flight entertainment system with a USB port and headphone jack. Below is the seat pocket with a few smaller pockets inside dedicated for literature. The safety card and the sickness bag are both found in there. Alright, so the first stop we have the air sickness bag, will feel better. Um, use this when you can, use this when you need to. And... The safety card. Additionally, universal power ports are also located underneath as well. There's however only one port in between the two seats. Overhead controls are found above with air vents and reading lights accessible through the IFE system. Taking a tour of the IFE, there's a lot of movies, TV shows, and games to keep yourself entertained. The function of the call button and light are both integrated into the system as well. It also has a very customizable map feature where you can customize what geographical features are present, your view, and the specs of the plane as well. It even has a kids mode in which you can customize settings as well. TV, I did. 
Delta also offers Wi-Fi with a variety of plans ranging from free messaging on iMessage or WhatsApp up to heavy use of streaming coming at a cost. In my opinion, the prices are fairly decent for this flight and the Wi-Fi works pretty well with messaging. Next is the lavatory. You'll find two lavatories at the end and I went into the one without the window as the other one was occupied. I was again impressed with the cleaning done. As we approached into Los Angeles, let's sum this flight up. The airport experience and layout in Denver is pretty good despite that power outage. The food and shopping areas were well organized. The seat was fantastic as they were very comfortable and well padded and clean with the addition of great leg space. Covid protocols were also great as the plane was cleaned properly and wiped her hands out as well. They did however start selling their flights at full capacity, official in May. The flight attendants were also amazing as they had a lot of spirit and were willing to help everyone as well. The plane has also been a very amazing and strong addition to Delta's fleet as well. The technological advancements that have been put into this aircraft very much transform their smaller jets and pretty much most if not all of their aspects such as fuel efficiency. It provides a higher quality experience in such a small form factor. A day after the flight, I was also sent an email regarding feedback and that goes to show how Delta really cares about their customers. My overall rating for this flight is a 9.7 out of 10. I would highly recommend flying Delta and their A220s in the future. This was also by far my favorite flight of this trip. Now enjoy the landing into Los Angeles.
received an email survey from Delta. We welcome and value your feedback and use your responses to continually improve your travel experience. We invite you to download the, and use the Fly Delta app for all of your future travel needs, including checking in for a flight and managing your SkyMiles account. As you leave plane, please make sure to take a look around your seat and make sure you have everything you brought on board today. On behalf of Delta and this Salt Lake City-based crew, we'd like to thank each and every one of you for wearing your mask and face covering over your nose and mouth throughout the flight, keeping us all safe. We've enjoyed having you on board, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thanks for flying with us today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I have a good seven and a half hours here until I embark on my next flight. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment down below. I have quite a few more videos coming as well, so you do not want to miss those. For now, I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.